Yeah, it all works. I mean, this is the top layer. I've also tried them one block down, so the bottom layer, so... Oh, wait, I still need to test one more thing. So the bottom layer and the top layer both work. Now I need to put them another block above that and then turn it on to see if it interferes with the the pistons above them. Because, you know, there's a piston here and a piston here. That one pushes down and this one pushes down again, so... But if this circuit interferes with the piston just above this one, then there will be problems. I mean, when I was designing this, I was careful not to have any of these pointing directly at a piston from the upper level of this dirt. So, I mean, the upper level, that's that there. I mean, imagine if there's a piston above every one of these. I don't want the redstone pointing directly at that, because that would definitely break the whole thing, because it will activate that one as well as the one below it, and then, then that won't work. So as you can see, all the redstone is pointing away from the pistons here. So I'll test that as well, and then if that works, I'll go on to building it. I, <laughs> I don't want to have to explain this, and I probably won't. And I don't want to have to draw the schematic neither, so you have to either just play with it, um, figure it out for yourself. Alright, I think I'm going to take a break. Oh, also, I mean, there's not much to show. I've added a bit more delay onto this circuit. So, there was one of these before, now there's two. There was that before, now there's that, and there was one of these before, and now there's three. So now it's... See how slow that is? It'll pull up, and then pull up, and then do that. So, you know, you just got to figure out the timing of the three parts. Make sure they're, they're in sequence. But, you know, having more of a delay gives, obviously, more time for all of this stuff, too to trigger because as you can see there's a lot of um, repeaters here and if you can follow them if you care to follow them it starts here so we get one two three four so four to this side and then up again five so at maximum, it, it, it takes five ticks for the signal to get to this block here, for example. So I'll need a, like a five tick gap, you know, between the other, the, the upper pistons activating, in order for all of this stuff to make sure all this stuff have time to move before that pulls it up again. Anyway, so so the bigger the gap, the the easier it is to to get the timing. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break. And then uh, when I get back, I'll test I'll test the upper bit. I'll test the, the block above that for interference. And then if that all works out, I'll build it. Uh, what does it look like now? Now it looks like that. And I'll be powering the upper level from above the cobblestones. You see each one has a cobblestone above that, and then above that will be the redstone wire. So that gives me a bit more space down here to work with. Yeah, yeah, complicated. Alright. Alright, so I moved all the pistons up one block, and uh, if we add power, as you can see, none of them are responding, which is good, because you don't want the the circuits for the lower pistons interfering with the upper pistons, and um, probably don't notice some of these details. So for example, this bit here, if I remove this, it would trigger that. 
so you know it is fairly important that everything is uh, the way it is, or at least most of it. Like if you thread the wire in the wrong way, then it will just you know, if you just take out that one, it will mess up the whole thing. Uh oh, whoops. Okay, that's supposed to be there. That's not a big deal, not a big deal. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I'm... Look at all those animals. Anyway, I'm fairly convinced that I've got this working. And I am actually quite surprised that in the end I was able to fit all of this into such a small space. You know, there's barely room for one redstone wire threading through this space and then managing to power both levels and not interfere with the level above. Quite happy, I'm quite happy with that. And uh hope it translates into the upper level. Alright, um hmm. pigs. Ooh, I need some bacon. Nope, your friend. Damn. All right, so now to yeah, build that up there. All right, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, okay. After a bit of building, I have reconstructed the circuit up there, along with all the pistons I placed. I I hope I've got everything right. I mean, all of this looks right. And uh, it's kind of difficult to get in here to double check because, you know, as you can see, it's kind of confusing even for me. But, um, you can. So all the lower ones should be activated. And I guess we can kind of check the ones that we can see. Yep. So the ones on the outside look like they're doing what they're meant to be doing. Uh, that's two sides, three sides. Yep. And, uh, So yep, all well the ones on the outside look like they're doing what they're doing. And then one, two, well that's that one. And then that one and that one, yep. Yep. That's good. Yeah, wait, yep, those two, yep. I don't know if you can actually tell what I'm doing, but uh, I'm looking at the pistons to make sure they're extended. I think I've checked four sides already. No, no, one more side to go. Uh, yep. 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 Yep, so that's four sides and then the inside eight. I shouldn't jump down there because... I don't think I can get back up if I do, but uh, those are good. Yep, those are good. Okay, okay, that all works out. But, um... Activating is only one part of the problem. Deactivating it needs to also turn off all of the pistons. And sometimes it doesn't, you know? Sometimes when you turn it off, it doesn't actually deactivate some of the pistons, which is strange, but... 
that's how it is. Two, uh, three. Yep, the outside is all deactivated. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, yep. Good. Yep. Uh, yep. Those are fine. Those all look. Yep. They've all retracted. Alright. Those are all good, and then the inside, eight. Oh, whoops. Three and... Four. I think. Yep, okay, so good, 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 good. So, at that level at least, they are working. Now, up here I need to connect all of the top pistons together. And the, huh, and the power is being supplied from above. I need to figure out where to put the repeaters. I guess the thing to do would be to... Well, not do that. I don't think I can pick that up now, because then I drop down and can't get back up again. Okay, let's do that. So it's straight, and then into those. Try to have some rotational symmetry so that it's a bit easier to understand for myself at least. Although I'm not sure if it's Um, uh, yeah, repeater. I might need more cobblestone. Oh, I need more repeaters. Well, I'll, uh, well, never mind, let's do this first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm not even sure if that's going to reach far enough. Huh. Oh good, oh good, it's just well, no, it's not good, actually. It's far enough for that side, but not for this side. Let's... Move that forward by one.
Yeah, the signal's gone. Crap. Well. Let's do that then. Guess I have to. Okay, I'll be back with more repeaters. All right, I've got a few more repeaters, and uh, let's drop that there. So they should all be activated, the top ones. Well, the ones we can see here are all activated. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Those are all activated. Yep. And then, around the outside... Uh. Yep. That is... good. And of course we need to double check that. Well actually we don't even need to double check, we just do it. And see if it works. Oh no, 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 let's double check. Alright, so as far as, as far as I can tell that's all working as intended. And if I knock that out, they've all retracted back up again. And you can see them quite clearly. They've all retracted. Now, here's the test. We put power to that one, and um, power to that one, and then 